I think we actually spoke last year for we when, did for the inaugural uh, year of this competition. Tell me, uh, first of all, to kind of reorient our audience for of what the Collaboration Filmmakers Challenge entails. Uh, well, what it is is that this is a uh, you know it's a, a time you know restricted to film challenge. It takes place over two weeks. Um, during that time, you make a film and you help somebody else make a film. Or you're welcome to help lots of people make films if you want. One of the goals of the uh, of the CFC is to get people to work together and expand their networks because it's extremely easy to just kind of, you know, find yourself isolated, you know, individually or, you know, in, in kind of a sense of being a filmmaker or artist in a place like Los Angeles, you know, so sometimes it's hard to make those kind of outreaches. So uh, we kind of do it for you. We try to pair people up who have... Uh, you know, a complementary interests. You know, ideally, you know, if you're a director looking for a cinematographer, hopefully we can set that up. If you're, you know, an editor looking for a director, hopefully that's what's going to happen. Um, you know, we, we try, we do our best to pair up people with mutual interests. And uh, then uh, on top of that, we uh, give people uh, a lot of resources uh, to go with that. So, like, uh, we arrange for people to get free stock footage and free music and uh, discounts on equipment. And, um, you know, we even uh, have, a, you know, an editor who will give, you know, certain, you know, who has, a, you know, certain time blocks that we give to people to help work, work on their films. Hmm. So what happens on the launch date, uh, on the 9th? Uh, the 9th is our uh, orientation. So it's where everybody, uh, you know, meets so everyone can see who's uh, in the uh, CFC. And it's also when you are assigned... Uh, you know, you're the person you were going to help and the person who is going to help you. Mm -hmm. And okay. so then, you know, also any kind of, a, you know, question answered, you know, refreshments, all those kind of things. We like to, you know, all that will be on the orientation. But that's the main thing is that everyone will get to meet and hopefully get a chance to little meet, meet, you know, mingle a little bit, talk to their collaborators uh, in person, get to know them a little bit, and um, then we're off. Oh, the so other the thing that happens, I should say, sorry, the, there's one other thing that happens on the um, orientation, which is that uh, – there's a quote that we give every year, and um, you know, I said it's a two-week challenge, and so uh, we're, we give a quote to give people, you know, inspiration, and ideally they will make a film that uh, you know relates to this quote in some way. Hmm. So the participants have already been chosen. Well, no, no. It's like people can still people can sign up all the way until the day before. Okay, and they do that at collaborationchallenge.com, right? Yes. Yeah. And okay. So uh, you know we're we're uh, you know uh, we're open now. So I hope people will uh, you know check it out and sign up and make a short film. Well, we'll definitely direct our our audience there. Do they submit uh, a short a short film or a work of theirs that they'd want to continue working on? Or no, no, no. It's just you know um, it's to make a film in this. You know you make a film and you help someone make a film in this two week span. So nothing. You don't need anything ahead of time. All you have to do is all you have to have is the will to make a movie. <laughs> Okay. Basically, okay. and the desire to help someone else. So you did. I mean, like we mentioned before, last year was your your first year of doing this. What did that experience teach you that you've carried on to the second year? Uh, well, we streamlined some rules, so uh, you know, so it goes, you know, g g give people a little bit more freedom. Um, people really, really did seem to like the whole collaboration aspect. Like it actually, it was an experiment last year, and it really seemed to pay off. Like definitely, groups of people got to really know each other um, well. And it's like some people collaborated on like six, seven films, you know. And uh, mm. we have a prize, in fact, for that. There is a uh, there's a um, an audience award, there's a jury award, but there's also a collaborator award. So the person who's essentially helped the most people also is you know up for a prize of uh, which is fifteen hundred dollars. Um, wow. And and so yeah we you know uh, it it really uh, it really went very well last year you know the Harmony Gold was packed um, people seemed to have a great experience with it so you're and you had a panel of celebrity well you still do you have a panel of judges from the industry I mean very established people uh, judging the films as well tell me about well first of all tell me who's on the jury this year and and the, the quality of of films that that you got uh, last year. Uh, well, first of all, the, on the jury, I mean, we're very excited about a lot of our uh, panels this year. So, uh, Peter Baxter, the president of Slam Dance, is one of our judges. Wow. Yeah. And yeah. I, and he's, you know, obviously, I think filmmakers will. <laughs> I mean, this is quite an opportunity to get a film in front of him, you know. Uh, and so, I feel like that's what people really should should do. It, it certainly, 
is not the same, you know, uh, it's different from slam dance. So it's like it really gets you an opportunity to, you know, have him see your, your work. And uh, ideally, you know, you want a guy like, you know, the president of slam dance to <laughs> like what you're doing. It's like that On your side. Thing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. He's terrific. Uh, yeah. Kurt Loder is a judge, you know, a uh, celebrity uh, movie reviewer. Mm-hmm. Um, Matthew Lillard, who, you know, a well-known actor who also um, directed and distributed a film that was very succe- that was you know successful for him this year called uh, Fat Kid Saves the World. Um, yeah. Andrew Wilson, who is a uh, manager at Zero Gravity uh, Entertainment, he represents people like Toby Hooper and Clive Barker, um, mm. and. Uh, Melody Hammer is a judge who is the um, uh, head of production at uh, Style Hall. Mm. And, and and in terms of the quality of films that you saw uh, last year, was it was it very gratifying to see what they produced? Oh, it was amazing, actually. <laughs> like I can't <laughs> believe that people pulled these things off in two weeks. It was like a fantastic. You know, it's like a amazingly good. Yeah. Are they? Are they? Um... I mean, they're generally. I mean, it stands to reason that they're probably all of the the younger generation that participates that that kind of want a chance to break in and rub elbows with people in the in the industry. Um, do you tell me about the the kind of the mindset of the young filmmaker now, nowadays? I mean, is it do you look at the future of film through their eyes, and is it a hopeful future for you? You know what I think it is. It's like a um, I mean, it wasn't just young people, by the way. We also had definitely, you know, we had people of all ages who participated. But mm. um, I feel like the one, you know, one thing you certainly see happening is the people um, really accepting and uh, understanding all of the new kind of tools that are out there to make films. And so the amount of actual productivity that, you know, somebody who knows these tools now can have versus, you know, you know, 10 years ago even is remarkable, you know. Uh, one person can make a fantastic, you know, effect-driven, really well-produced, well-lit, well-shot um, movie, something that, you know, not long ago looks like it would have been a lot more expensive. And I think people embracing these, these digital tools are something that's been uh, pretty amazing. I mean, it's also why we want to give – why part of the mission of this thing is to give people a lot of extra – um, you know, weapons for their, you know, for their, uh, or tools, I should say, for their toolbox, um, yeah. you know, with the stock footage and with the music and with all that kind of stuff is to make sure that people have really as much advantage as possible. But it's like, uh, no, I mean, people are really learning how to do kind of everything. And I think that, you know, in certain ways you can even see, you know, stronger auteur kind of voices come out of it because they literally can do more than could have been done in the in the past. Well, and the, the other thing that I love about your idea, I mean, it's implicit right there in the title of it. It really uh, celebrates the art of collaboration, which oh yeah, which you spoke to it before. I mean, you can get, especially as a writer director, I'm sure you can get to a point where you you're just uh, living all alone with your project for so long that you know when you get other people involved in it, you, you know that's that's invaluable. It kind of redefines what you had in your mind. Definitely, and it's, I, I mean, it's like you, people that get, you know, adv, you know, they gain all kinds of advantages from um, working with other people. Like I said, we try to pair them up in complementary ways. So, uh, um, yeah, I, I think that that's a, an exciting element of it. Like I said that was the most experimental part of it, like last year. But it seems like, you know, I saw some really strong kind of uh, groups come together, and I think who are, you know, still who are still working together. So, um, you know, mission accomplished as far as that stuff goes. Yeah, you mentioned a quote. That you guys are, and it, it, it's kind of like the thesis that they have to work on. Yeah, uh, and basically, explore. It should, it, yeah. it's supposed it's supposed to inspire their work, right? And that's uh-huh. you know, you know, that's definitely part of it, especially because you know it's. A, this is also part of it being a two week thing, and the fact that there are people with different skill levels. Is it? You know, it's a, we, we can't just say, you know, submit and make a film in two weeks when it's like maybe something people have already worked on for a month or something like that, you know, and then it's like impossible for other people to catch up to. So we, it's part of the effort of leveling the playing field is that everyone has right. to just make a movie in two weeks, just get it done. So you guys, you're you're not prepared to reveal that quote on the show. You're going to save it for orientation day? Or? Yes, yes, it has to get, it has to wait for orientation Darn for sure. It. I was hoping for some kind of scoop. <laughs> oh yeah, unfortunately that's the one scoop I can't do because uh then uh, you know anyone who heard the podcast and joined up would have quite an advantage over everybody else. Oh, that is true. Uh, I didn't think of that. Yes, absolutely. 
so so the, okay, so April ninth is the orientation day, and they have two weeks to complete their projects. When, when does the final screening and judging take place? And two weeks to complete theirs and to help someone else. With, okay, with yeah. Um, okay. The final judging and the screening is going to be uh, May fourth. Mm, mm. So May fourth is going to be when you know the whole thing is is at, at Harmon and Gold. We're going to have. Um, you know, the, the jury panel will have been determined before that, of course, because, you know, the, the judges would have gotten all of the materials and reviewed them and made their choices. Uh, the audience award will happen that night. There's going to be ballots, and, you know, hopefully people will bring a lot of their friends to vote. And so um, that's definitely – that's uh, that's what's happening on, on the 4th. And then um, – So, that, so the audience – so when the audience votes – they voted the actual screening, so it's kind of an immediate audience tally of who who won that award. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So what happens is that after we have the screening, ballots are passed out, and um, you know the you know, said the audience votes. Then then the the judges will actually do a panel, and you know answer some questions from the audience from the filmmakers. Um, you know, give some thoughts about what they saw, and then uh, when the votes are tallied, the, it gets presented. Wow. So tell tell me about your your own career what's 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 new on 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 your personal filmmaking front um well you know we're uh you know i produced a couple of movies myself and uh one of the main things that we're uh doing now is um a show called oishi high school battle which mm -hmm. is um um a, pro, a show that we you know produced i you know was one of the one of the creators one of the two creators of it and you know it's also did a lot of writing and uh editing and directed about half of them and this was part of the Google, um, the Google uh, verticals. You know, they're kind of like uh, channels that they do for the, you know, for YouTube. Like they they presented a whole new batch of essentially channels. And so uh, we, ours was on um, Shut Up Cartoons, which was the most subscribed of the new channels. And we had the, you know, OEC High School Battle was the number one show on the wow uh, most subscribed. Yeah. So uh, this is also part of why we're embracing so much a lot of the um, digital. Uh, Technologies, because that's what we do. It's like we you know we produced a series using all these kind of like new new methods with a new distribution platform, and it became very successful. I think we've had you know 16 million views or something like that at this point. Mm. It is an exciting kind of new world, uh, and and web is playing and streaming is playing a bigger and bigger part of that. I mean, it, and it would have to be a positive because that only gives the filmmaker more opportunities. Absolutely. I mean, I, I mean, you know, it is really democratization of the, you know, means of production. <laughs> it really is. I mean, you yeah. can do, like I said, you can do so much more. Like last year, we had uh, we had some great films, and like, but one that pops to mind right away is this one called Paperwork, because Paperwork was like had so much kind of digital um, effects work, so much visual effects work. Because it's about you know a guy who like he tries to get work done faster, so he photocopies himself and makes all these duplicates, um, and so. <laughs> The amount of work that like went in, I mean, it was like it was like really amazing that uh, the filmmaker, uh, a guy named uh, Sharif Matar, uh, was able to pull that off in in the amount of time that he had. But he did, and it was pretty amazing. Well, so for for the people that live on uh, uh, different parts of the country and the world that that are listening to our show, um, they can can they view uh, these movies at all once they're completed online or? Yeah, you can see them all at the collaborationchallenge dot com. It's all there. Okay, great, great. Well, I'm excited, and I want to know. I want to know how it goes. So uh, I, I'll definitely be tuning into the the website to hear some updates uh, that I'm sure will be posted as they occur. Well, but, uh, I'll invite. I'll invite you to the screening on May, on the fourth as well, if you'd like to go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, and I, I appreciate you giving me time. And I'm, I'm so sorry once again for the, the lateness of the interview, but uh, it's been a pleasure to talk to you about it. Oh, great to talk to you. Too. Oh, you know, one last thing before I forget. We also sure. arrange for them to have actors as well. Like we also arrange a bunch of uh, – we also arrange for actors to be in the, their, their productions as well, which is often hard for people to get together. But we work with, you know, different casting people who, you know, will we'll work with actors who want to get stuff – who want to get materials for their reels. And so – we we arrange for a bunch of that. And we also help help the filmmakers make them uh, Screen Actors Guild projects. Wow! So they got everything at their disposal, really. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I think this is something that was also missing from a lot of film challenges and things of this nature is that they weren't giving you a lot of resources. And it's like, and, I, and you know, we were able to give a lot of resources. And this is just through uh, 
you know, us, you know, making um, strategic partnerships with different kind of companies and websites and things like that. And they're, you know, willing to, you know, show show their wares by, you know, giving people free music to use, free stock footage, all that kind of stuff. And so they know that, like, getting the, their name in the, you know, ears of the filmmakers will only have kind of, like, positive results down the line as well. And so absolutely. helps everybody. Yeah, absolutely.